welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at the easiest and most versatile way to convert any video file into PSP format using an open source software called Handbrake. This is really easy and intuitive to use and I'll include links in the description for the software as well as a preset that I've made so you can get straight into converting your own videos. You can get it for Windows or Mac or Linux. You can also get the source if you want to compile it yourself. Um, and we've also got another link to the original tutorial from 2014. So before we jump in, you can see I'm using Guardians of the Galaxy 2 as an example, just so you can get an idea for the quality of the video you can get out of this process. Now we'll just jump onto the computer and I'll take you through how we're going to convert any video file into the PSP format. Okay, so today we're going to have a quick look at how to convert video files into PSP format. There's really only three things that you're going to need and I will include these links in the description. There is a preset settings file that you can import into the application, as well as the application itself called Handbrake, and as well as a link to the original tutorial which goes into a little bit more depth as to what formats the PSP actually can display. So the first thing we're going to do is grab our preset file, open the web browser of choice, And you can see the PSP video for Handbrake. I'm just going to download that and save it onto the desktop. Okay, now the next thing to do is to download Handbrake. When doing this, obviously make sure that you use the correct version for your machine. You can see they've got Windows, Linux, as well as the source code, and I'm using the Mac version. Wait for the file to download and extract and install. So I've already installed Handbrake but I'll take you through most of the process anyway. So you just open the disk package. Once that opens up, you can then drag the icon into the applications folder, or conversely, if you're on Windows, just follow the EXE installation prompts as per usual. So you can see we drag that across into Finder into our applications folder. Once you do that, you can launch Handbrake. It'll come up with a prompt to load a file. I'm just going to cancel out of that for now because we want to load in our preset. Now you can see up here where it says presets. Click on this, go down to the bottom with the little settings icon. And you can click import. This is also how we exported the preset. Then you just need to navigate to the file and open. Now see it's called PSP Mac Test 1 once you bring it in. So this basically sets up all of the rules for coding the video into the correct format. The next thing you need to do is open your source, which is going to be the file that you are going to be converting. You can open a folder as a source. It will then scan all of the titles in that folder, and once it's done this, it will bring up the information for each title. So you can see here it's loaded some movies, we've got Blade Runner there. And as you drop down this list, you can see all of the uh, files that were in that folder. If folders, if uh, movies are in a subfolder, they won't show on this list. So you want to make sure that whichever folder you're choosing has got all of the movies that you want to look at. So if we select a movie here, you can see a preview. You can select various scenes from within. 
This will show you the original. You close that. Go to presets, my presets, and select the preset. Once you've selected the preset, you can go into dimensions and see that really all we're doing is giving a resolution limit, which is the PSP screen size. And you can also, if you wish to retain the aspect ratio, you can select this button here. However, if you do so, you need to add width and height. So if it's automatic width and height, then your image will appear like this. However, I prefer to simply keep it with these settings here, so the image will always fit the screen of the PSP. You may notice some slight distortion on some titles, which is what the dimension page lets you fix. So again, if you want to view this in its original aspect ratio, you simply need to enable width and height borders and select automatic. That will then give you the letterbox view and maintain the cinema ratio. Once you've selected your display format, we'll just get rid of this. Okay. So once you've selected your format, you can either add several of the titles to the queue. You can pick and choose which ones you want to convert. You can also convert all the titles within that source folder. Or you can convert a single title by selecting it and pressing start. Now this has already been done, so we're going to use a different example. We'll just quickly open the source here. Go to our desktop, use this test file here. Now you can see down the bottom, this is going to be the export file's name. So we're going to call this test or YouTube. And it also asks where would you like it to be saved. Of course you can open browse and select any destination folder. I would advise against exporting these directly onto the PSP memory stick because you will have some slowdown involved with exporting the file. It is faster to export to your local hard drive and then copy across afterwards. So now that that's been completed, we can start the process. On the bottom you get an update as to what is happening. Current setting is just for one pass. If you really wanted to mess with the quality, you can do additional passes, but for the purposes of the PSP's display, this setting is perfect. Now while this is going, I can also show you some of the other settings around the background. So the filters are all off for this purpose, but if you would like for whatever reason, you can modify these. Video codec, unless you know what you're doing, I would avoid changing these settings. You can change the quality if you're worried about the file size but you'll see it's actually not too bad. The audio codec is set up just right. Again, feel free to play around with these settings if you wish. Now for subtitles, the PSP doesn't have a way to display the subtitle files. So if you do have a subtitle file, you will need to burn it or hard code it onto each frame. Um, I again would advise against this. It does add some time to the process and it sometimes it's not uh, not very clear definition you can also create chapters if you like although these are not picked up by the PSP so now that that's been done we have an exported file we go to movies so these are the files here that we've already exported so let's open those in finder go to movies so all of these movies have been converted for the PSP format. So if we find our file here, which was test for YouTube, you can see that it's in the PSP's native resolution. And the frame rate is pretty good, the audio quality is not bad. When I was in the pool, you had to hear that. Goddamn scoop! Enjoy getting laser
and we'll just check some live action as well. I'm saying. So overall, it's a very capable program that you're able to convert files quite easily. It accepts input. Um, you can import a lot of different kinds of formats and export them all in the way that the PSP will read them. So I find this really handy if there's a particular series you want to watch. I'm watching Invincible at the moment. You can put those across. Um, I won't tell you where I got any of these. Technically speaking, I do um, own copies of all of these movies, so I don't feel that that's in violation of any copyright, but you do proceed with caution, of course, when you're doing this kind of thing. Um, and then we're just going to cut away now and I'll show you these files on the PSP running so you can see what they look like actually on the native hardware um, playing in that resolution. Before we do so, I'll just quickly exit out of these. So Handbrake does have a forum, a community, there's documents as well if you want to get into it. It's very capable and you can use it for all kinds of different things. Another useful link which I've included in the description is this link to an old post that was done a while ago but it does show you how to encode high quality video for PSP with handbrake. This is basically what we've just talked about. So you've got the links here. It's a little bit complicated. They're going into bit rates and all that sort of thing. But if you're tech savvy this might be a good resource to look at goes into more depth about the reasons for why each of these settings are where they are as well as parameters that you can change to improve quality or improve the uh, or reduce file size as I say but that's basically it as this page hasn't been updated since 2014 so this is why I wanted to do this um, update okay so we're just going to show you now what the files look like on the PSP If we go into the video section here, you can see all of the files are transferred into the video folder. The title is just whatever the file name is when you transfer it across. And we'll just show you some quick previews, although I can't show you too much. So you can see a bit of a distortion pattern on the screen. That is just a byproduct of filming with a camera onto the PSP. When you actually view the screen in person, you can't see those weird ziggy lines. So the definition is actually really nice and clear. There's no tearing, there's no ghosting. The sound quality is good. Overall, really convenient and enjoyable way to watch movies. So you can see it still displays Really nice colour, there's no lack of saturation there. It's particularly nice when you're watching anime or cartoons. Really clean, clear lines, it translates well onto the small screen. So you can see there's really no loss in fidelity, there's no stuttering, everything's translated really well. Some of the older software that was out years ago had some issues with converting the files, but this one seems to be working really well. Again with subtitle files, you do have to bake them into the export, as I haven't figured out a way to get the separate subtitle file to work with this system. but. It's not really a deal breaker. And in case you're wondering, the file size conversion rate isn't actually too bad. So for a movie about two hours long, it's only just under a gig. Uh, you can see the Lord of the Rings 1.6. And because of the way that it's encoded, you find that some of the files are a lot smaller, for example the Invincible series, I think because there's a smaller color palette and there's less frames, so that's only 180 megabytes. 
So that completes the tutorial on how to convert videos for PSP format. If you found this helpful, please leave a like and subscribe and comment with any questions below. And as always, thank you for watching.